Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I'm joined by somebody very special today, my very good friend, Jenna Bay, and she is phenomenal. Um, all the guests that I bring on, they have a tremendous amount of value to add. That's why I bring them on. And everybody has their own special area of expertise. And on the show, what we try to do is we go down and go down memory lane, essentially, and find out their story, their journey. Jenna, I mean, she's she's just phenomenal um she is an expert on neuroscience epigenetics quantum physics child development and she's also a virtual course she has a specialization in nutrition she actually started her career as an elementary school teacher and she built up her virtual coaching practice from there and she now supports women and children um, with in terms of child development so her main goal is to empower women especially moms with kids so if you're a parent you're a mom then this is the interview for you this is going to be an amazing conversation uh, and you're going to find a lot of value from it she has her own book series which she's promoting right now because that book series really helps you understand child development and it essentially just takes off the pressure from you as a parent in terms of learning about how you can help your child develop and nurture them etc it takes the pressure off and you can go ahead and just have those books available to you so it helps you to help your child grow into a complete person so with that please help me welcome jenna to the show jenna thanks for being here thank you so much for that introduction and thank you for having me it's a pleasure to have you on. Um, Jenna, I mean, we connected before. We had a call before, you know, this one, and uh, you blew my mind. You were so passionate about what you do. You really want to help women uh, with children, so specifically parents and moms. Um, and I know you work a lot with women, but you also help men in terms <laughs> of, you know, understanding child development and nutrition, etc. So, Remind remind me of your you, how you got started down this path because you were actually a teacher in elementary yeah. school, right? So how did it all start from you being a teacher to where you are now as a virtual coach? Yes, great question. There's we all have our origin stories, and mine started when I was really young with uh, having a learning disability and not knowing how I would be able to be able to have a, a full life. And there was t uh, times where they thought I wouldn't even get into college or university and even get into the next grade. So there was, that started out with a low self-esteem. And as I built my neurological system and having the function of the brain coming up to my proper age, I learned a lot about the brain. And that's kind of where it started. Then uh, when I was 15, I lost one of my best friends to suicide and I hit an all-time low. And I really needed to discover for my own benefit why someone would do this, why this was something that needed to be done. Why did this seem like it was the only option? So that really started my investigation into the mind. And I started learning and uh, researching about neuroscience uh, at that time. And then that led me into learning about quantum physics and just how the whole world works. And this was just in high school. So it became just one of those passionate things. And sometimes when you're going through grief, some people will go to faith as a way to move through it and others go to different outlets. And this was mine. Mine was motivated to figure out, you know, why does someone like country music and someone like rock? Why does someone think this way and others think this way? I really, really was on a, on a quest for this. When I became a teacher, I just, well, I decided to go through for a teacher because of my experience at a younger age, I really wanted to build kids up and I wanted them to know how good they were because when I was young, I didn't feel that way. I felt like I was stupid. I felt like I was ugly. I was also very chubby. So it's just had all of these issues that I brought with me to my adulthood. So I really wanted to see if I could knit that for a future youth that were growing up. So I decided to do teaching. Once I got there, I just realized that I couldn't do the things that I really wanted to do because there's so much you have to do as a teacher. There's the curriculum that you have to follow. Then there's a whole bunch of other rules and regulations that are there to help support your growing the child, but it wasn't really what I wanted. So I decided to open up my own business where 
I was working with families on building nutrition because through my experience with neuroscience, I learned how valuable nutrition is. So that's when I went back and got my degree in uh, neuroscience and nutrition. And this is a degree that is ever flowing. Uh, I always, I find that I'm a continual researcher, which is why that's kind of how I introduce myself. I'm not uh, stagnant with any degree because in science, we're constantly changing. We're constantly learning new things and same with child development, but that's always in my specialty. And as I was building this practice, I was learning all these different fears that parents have. And I work a lot with women, but I also do work a lot with men too. Uh, men are also parents and coaches and teachers and leaders. And what I learned from all of this is that we're so similar and that we are going through so many different things, but they all relate back to the same, that we all just want to feel good and we all want to raise thriving children. So I went through this quest of how do we do that? And as I was a nanny as well, so I come from a different experience. I'm not a parent yet, but I, uh, my experience of being a nanny, a living nanny, and also a teacher has a different perspective on child rearing. And then throwing in my educational background in it, I just, I felt like I had so much value to add to, to families. So uh, through my experience, I'm learning that I, that I do and that the things that I'm able to share with them and guide them with and support them with helps with thriving in themselves and their lives as well as in their children. And that, that led me to this. This led me to my book series and helping women thrive and my my website basically is the hub for all of this and I really feel like in order to have children that thrive are the parents the leaders the teachers if you're a parent or you're influencer of children you are a leader that developing those leadership skills is one of the most important things and that's what my book series does as well as my nutrition courses and all of that that's on my website that was really long-winded <laughs> <laughs> No, it was great. It was fantastic. I mean, first of all, you, you're into everything. I mean, I love that. You had everything from neuroscience to quantum physics to nutrition uh, mm -hmm. to, to child development. I mean, there seem to be very uh, kind of unrelated fields. Yeah. But actually, if you think about it, they do integrate quite a lot, right? I mean, there's this... Yeah, there's huge intersection there, especially when it comes to child development. I mean, if you put that in the core, then the quantum physics and the neuroscience and the nutrition all make sense, right? Oh, big time. Everything is in a relationship. We're in a relationship with anything mm -hmm. and everything. So that's even even our, our phones or our cars and, and, um, and, of course, the people in our lives. And one of the basics, uh, basis things of a relationship is your interaction. Mm. And the basis of an interaction is action. And every action is followed uh, or is created through a thought, which, is create, which creates your emotions. And through neuroscience and quantum physics and epigenetics, what everything will tell you is that we're all made up of cells and these cells are constantly vibrating. And this is the energy that creates our worlds, creates our lives, creates everything. So when we get that under control, which is what the book series is all about, is how to handle our emotions and become so emotionally intelligent that we're able to use our minds to create the reality rather than facing it. Right. Wow. I love that. Absolutely love that. So your book series, Jenna, I mean, what is the ultimate goal of that book series? What do you, what's your mission behind it? What are you hoping to achieve? Yes, that's a great question. So every book is just one strategy. So instead of creating a thick parenting book or a leadership book for an adult to read at the end of the day, I've never met a parent who said, oh, I have tons of time at the end of the day. So <laughs> I wanted to create something that you could do with your child and learn at the same time, immerse yourselves in it together and build that neurological wiring for emotional intelligence. So here's the thing about the emotional intelligence is that it's something that we're constantly working on. It's not something that you can have and then you have it forever. It's you're exercising your mind like you exercise your body. And that's what each of these, these concepts in the books do. So the, one of the ones that we're, we're going around right now with is, is superhero powers. And 
It's one concept. And the concept is just that every single person on this planet is here for a purpose and they're valuable. Mm -hmm. Even in those moments when you feel depressed or you feel like there is nothing worth living for or those times when you're struggling or when you're comparing yourself to someone else because they're the better mom or they're the better this and you're, or their body's better than yours or something in that moment when you can come back to your individual superhero power, mm -hmm. you remember that you're here on this earth for a reason to add value and every room you walk into is different because you're there anyone that you interact with one conversation the conversations that you have on this podcast one conversation can change your life and if you walk into the grocery store and you think the cashier is going to be so excited that they get to meet me today because you're going to add that little zest that no one else has but you and when we understand what that zest is, that's our superpower. And we have a lot of them. And it's celebrating that everyday superhero. You, you know those, those times when someone holds the door open for you or gives you a smile and it makes you feel like you matter. That, is, that That's a power. That's because everyone matters. And we forget that. We get so busy in our day-to-day -day lives that we forget to think about what's going on around us or what other people are going through. So having this, this concept and, and I hear now the testimonials coming back from parents saying that their whole life has changed because they're, they're focusing on what their child is doing right rather than what they're doing wrong. And having that simple mindset shift of just constantly looking for what your partner's doing right rather than what she's doing wrong or he's doing wrong. And it makes life a lot more fun and when you get to use your unique talents or your gifts or just be the best version of you that day it makes life a lot more fun and that's the bottom line is we're supposed to have fun life is supposed to feel good and so it's really about that particular book is just about finding your uniqueness owning it and then using it to better the world wow i love the message that's really powerful and you're right you know people do need to hear it because a lot of the time you are so kind of busy dealing with the day-to-day -day routine and the day-to-day -day chaos that you you forget to step outside of your normal you know environment and and think about the higher level stuff essentially mm -hmm. so and especially when it comes to parents i mean parents as as you said they don't have time. They don't have any time. They're <laughs> yeah. always busy. They're always doing something. Always, yeah. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's so amazing that you uh, you created this book series for them. Um, There's um like they they have been told like I've been told a lot that they're they're called parenting books disguised as children's books, and I always I just want to premise that that. I'm not at all ever suggesting that this is how you parent or that any parent needs help parenting because I'm a firm believer that every woman and every man that I work with that are parents, they're naturally become leaders. It's just innately in them. And for me to come in and say, this is how you should parent your child is totally absurd because every child is so different and no one knows your child better than you do. My whole intention and goal with all of these strategies, and that was just one book that I went, there's, a, there's a, like 15 that are coming out and um, more to come after that. And they're, they're there just to uplift you and to remind you mm -hmm. of your power because you don't, you don't necessarily need anything else outside of you. You got it inside of you. I'm just there to remind you of what you already know. Wow. And that's just, it's important that, that you just, the parents feel supported because especially moms that are in dads, of course, that it can feel so lonely and so overwhelming because you can have these moments of pure bliss and everything's great. And then the next moment it's, am I doing this right? I like, is this the right thing to do? I don't know. Is this what I'm supposed to feed my child? My child won't even touch a vegetable. What do I do? Like there's, there's always this panic. So, my goal is just to answer these questions that all parents have and have a hub for them 
so that they can just know that they're not alone and it's everything's going to be okay. There's, they, they, they've got this and, and here's our just added strategies to that you can take it or leave it. Awesome. Well, Jenna, yours is a beautiful mission and an amazing message and your book series sounds absolutely phenomenal. And for people in the audience, if you are a parent or if you know anybody else who is a parent, then you have to check out this book series. Um, if somebody, if one of your friends, neighbors, colleagues, if they're about to become a parent, well, this would be an amazing present, wouldn't it? I think so. So go for it. Check the book series out. It's absolutely amazing. Um, we'll put all the links below in the description so you can just go and uh, go ahead and click the link below in the description and you can find out more. But let's talk about your, um, your nutrition course. Cause I know you're a specialist in nutrition as well. Yeah. So you're, you're passionate about child development and you've done a course in neuroscience and nutrition. So tell me, how can we combine these three very kind of far-fetched unrelated fields into something that helps us learn more about who we are and empowers, especially the parents. How does it actually empowers the parents? Absolutely. That's a great question. Thank you for, for bringing that up. I am really passionate about helping maximize human potential. And if we want to help our children thrive, then we also need to thrive. And the, the bottom line of being a leader and being in a, a parenting or a teacher, like being a family, you are a leader. And I work a lot with companies too with that, and we'll get into that in a bit. But I, working in the leadership, you, you are an influencer and it, rather than a dictator. That's how you'll get a lot farther. And in order for you to thrive, you need to love who you are and own who you are and be confident in who you are. And that's challenging. And after you have um, children, you, learn, you lose touch with who you are. Your identity shifts completely. You're no longer who you were. You're someone even greater, but we lose that, oh my gosh, like this is who I was, now who am I? And there's a different uh, connection between you and your partner now. And there's, there's another being who's so dependent on you that we forget about nourishing our own bodies and nourishing our own minds. And when we become stable in our nutrition, where we feed our bodies, we're feeding our minds, we become able to uh, equip ourselves with being the best leader and model for our children. Also, we go through this transition in our bodies as well. We tend to have extra weight when we have when we deliver or give an, uh, birth to a baby and that's natural, but we forget that and we put these high expectations on ourselves that we need to get right back into that fit body we had before or even a body that we is more fit now or whatever the case may be. And a lot of times we don't have time for that and we're exhausted. So feeding our bodies is really important, having that self-care. So this nutrition course is really to help with that, with helping you thrive so that your children can thrive, understanding what foods help support you and your brain function, as well as your child's. And it also, it's um, really catered for disordered eating. I work a lot with compulsive eating, uh, anorexia, bulimia, all those types of terrible, uh, hard habits that, that we have in these mindsets. So this course is about that. It's about shifting that mindset, helping you relate to your body, how your body works. Because here's, here's the thing. We often eat according to what our mind thinks. So we read about a paleo diet or we read about being vegetarian or see the videos and it makes sense to our minds, but not necessarily to our bodies. Our minds don't eat. Our brains do, but our minds don't. And yet we give our mind all the power. So this course is about coming back into your body, listening to what your body needs and eating from that rather than from a diet piece of paper or rules and regulations, dep deprivation restriction and, and all of that. We're, we're eliminating that and moving more in towards, you know, what does your specific bio-individuality need to thrive? Wow. That sounds really amazing. And you know what? You, you are absolutely amazing. I mean, you're blowing my mind by how you're linking these very 
kind of unrelated far-fetched concepts uh, very elegantly and explaining, you know, the whole kind of thing behind child development and, you know, how you actually form relationships and energy and, you know, what, what people are you know, focusing on, what people are doing right and how do you actually build a relationship with your child and then, you know, how you need to thrive as a human being. So you need to achieve your full potential by eating right and helping your child eat right. It's absolutely amazing. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, and for people in the audience, I mean, if you're a parent, then, it, I mean, come on, this has just been absolutely phenomenal. Jen has added so much value to us, you know, already. And, um, she is, she really understands this stuff at a very deep level. I mean, you can just sense it just by the way she's linking things, just the way she's explaining things. She's really passionate about it. And this is what she is here to do. This is her mission. So seriously, I would highly encourage you guys to reach out and check out her book series, her nutrition course, and reach out to Jenna and start a conversation. Um, Jenna, you talked about something that um, I think is seems to be a recurring pattern. I mean, I've had some really amazing people on my show. Uh, I've been blessed to, you know, have, you know, have them on and, and have conversations with them and go deep. And the one kind of underlying theme I've noticed is the fact that they have at some point all experienced a deep level of pain in their life. But what they did was they were able to use that pain. They were used to, able to use it as fuel and essentially achieves a transformation where their pain helped them achieve, you know, actually see clarity in terms of what their mission in life is, what their passion is, but they discovered that through their pain. Would you say that happened with you as well? I would. And that actually brings up a really important part point um, for being a parent is one of our major goals and when we're influencing children in any degree is that we want to protect them. We want to make sure that they don't go through what we went through. So we want them to have a better life than we had. And sometimes when we do that, we become overpowering and then we create codependency and we don't allow them to have their own experiences and their own devastations and same within like with high school I'm, I'm mainly when I uh, I'm speaking about this right from personal experience uh, with with families is that when you're working with that age group they, they're they craving independence that's their that's their time to move away from the nest and when we try to protect them and try and regulate everything that's going on for them that's when we get even more rebellion and even in your personal life, I know that you've had some pain points and you almost, when I was talking to you, used that as your launch pad. It was something that was, you made you who you are today. And although it was painful and something that you wouldn't want to experience again, or even wouldn't want to wish it on your worst enemy, it's something that you experienced and, and it helped catapult you to become and the person you are and have that compassion. And, and that's the same that I would totally agree with that. When uh, suicide was a huge uh, shock to me, I didn't even know what it was. And I felt guilty for having joy after that. Uh, just, I felt that if I was happy and it was uh, me not honoring the uh, Michelle, the, my friend's life. And so this has um, been, yeah, it's been such a journey and I, but I wouldn't, it's made me who I am, and I'm also, instead of focusing on suicide prevention, my books and series and website and all that is on happiness promotion, and that's one of my biggest, biggest passions, and that started because of what I've experienced, so you're totally right, and I, I think everybody's story is so fascinating, and that's why I love listening to your podcast because you do, you hear such amazing stories and the people that you attract, which makes sense because of the energy we talked about earlier, you give off this amazing energy. And, and when you think of who you are attracting, that does also indicate how you are vibrating. So you're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Donna. You're very kind. Um, this is really amazing. I mean, the fact that you know, everybody who has achieved a high level of success, you know, kind of can, you know, point to their pain at some point in the past and say, this was the thing that helped me, you know, 
become this person or you know find my mission in life or you know find my passion in life etc so it's really amazing this is kind of like a recurring theme that you know i've noticed but also the fact that you know what what does it take what do you think it takes to really use that pain as a lot as you call it a launch pad rather than break down give up or you know um fall into a deep depression a uh, great question and that is again the motivation for my books uh it's building that emotional intelligence it's one of the most important impactful things that we can do as influencers so that's influencers of children that's influencers of our teammates of our employees of our in for years it's it's us becoming so emotionally strong and what i mean by that is understanding emotions that anger is not bad it's just when we deny it that's when it gets pushed down and we enter either into depression or we we lash out but when we allow our anger and we learn ways on how to handle it then we're able to move through it and allow for it and then grow from it and become who we're going to become. So when we have these strategies and these tools which which my books teach you, you have them at younger ages, then the life that you are going to lead is going to be absolutely incredible and there it's never too late to learn these. Like I have I have a lot of adults that oh uh, buy my book series just because they're helpful for everyone. and when we learn them we are now able to influence and teach those who are depending on us or looking up to us and then this whole world shifts because when one of us is in alignment it influences a lot of the other ones in our lives to be in alignment and that's that's my main goal wow yeah i love it and you're absolutely right the the fact is that you know the your book series it talks about higher level stuff so it's not just talking about this one very specific strategy that will help you to solve this one very specific issue it's bigger than that it's broader than that and it's it actually helps you essentially achieve you know that tran- transcendence which helps you to you know grow and think at a higher level at a higher plane um so you know i again i will highly encourage the people in the audience especially if your parents to go and check out those books because it will help you again develop emotional intelligence just yourself but also um you know help your children you know uh, achieve that as well to help them in, um develop emotional intelligence now jenna that kind of brings me to the next bit is are there any strategies that you know parents can be using to help their children develop that high level of emotional intelligence honestly immersing them in the strategy so when you work on one of the strategies that the book outlines there is lots of companion materials so there's things on that they can uh, hook into once you get the book uh, that will help with like there's videos and activities and all of that stuff uh, if you do homeschooling there's curriculum there for it and it's just immersing them and being excited about it too so it's uh one thing for the child to read it but when you read it with them repetitively and you immerse them so after the book's over we we practice that like how at the end of the day asking those questions how did you use your superpower today or at the beginning of the day how are you going to use that superpower or what's your like you know that like, having those really great conversations and and then from these books to uh, there's a ton of inside jokes and these are kind of my favorite ones to read when they they send them to me through through my website so if you ever have me send them over because they're so funny and when you create an inside joke you create that bond and there's there's a whole lot of neurological science that I could go into about that but the main point is when you have those connections that development so much happens so immersion is me basically my number one and just having fun with it just exploring together and that quality time is so so important awesome now are your books for a specific age range or are do they do they have a limit on age 
They, they don't. They are great for uh, kindergarten to grade five. They are in some classrooms. And they, they are poems, so they're repetitive, so they, they help with word recognition. They also help with memory, and the novelty of it helps create this excitement for it time after time after time so a lot of adults will tell me we have to read the same book over and over so this is created in a way that when you do it's actually really good for your neurological development so we're building that foundation for our children but also in ourselves so when we repeat it it's, it's actually a really good thing and our brains won't get too exhausted about it and um, so they're really for any anyone who wants to increase their emotional intelligence and learn how to become a better leader and influencer they're they are but they're they're good for probably kindergarten younger than that um they they might they they do actually i, I do um have some book readings with, with like three-year-olds and they're um they're great too. Like I, I have some that are remembering the affirmations and they're walking around their, their cut kitchens saying it. So really, I don't want to put an age limit on it because every, every child, every person uh, seems to be benefiting. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, Jenna, what does it mean to you when you get those parent testimonials on how they have actually grown themselves or have their children to grow uh, into a fuller version of themselves? Um, what, what does it actually mean to you when you receive them? It means the world. There's nothing better because when I think of a child or a family thriving, that is my ultimate goal, my ultimate passion, and there's nothing in the world that I would rather have than having a healthy family and having individuals in this life know how important they are, how worthy they are, and how good they are just because they're here. I'm a firm believer in that, and I believe in maximizing the human potential in every single one of us. So I just, that brings me so much joy. Awesome. I, I and to be honest with you, I can I can sense your passion. Uh, you know, it, it 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 really is there. It's real, and and you know, I'm sure the audience can sense it as well. You you are coming from a very genuine, deep place, and I love that. That's awesome, um, Jenna. In terms of actually going forward into the future you're doing this book series etc but i know you also work with uh you know parents in terms of you coach them you have retreats organized can you talk to us a little bit about that um and for people in the audience um again you know jenna is a virtual coach so it doesn't matter where you are in the world uh you can actually reach out to jenna and uh, and start a conversation and see where that goes but uh, she, she does a lot more. So let's, let's go to, down there and you can maybe talk to us about uh, what other things you're working on. Uh, yeah, so they're called uh, Executive Pursuit and their retreats. There are some for families, for couples, for um, just individuals. Then there are also, we go into different organizations and different companies. So last week we were just at one of our biggest companies, um, Nike. And what we do is we help increase the innovation and collaboration within a in a company to help catapult them forward and keep them at number one or make them number one and that's one of the one things i'm really passionate to when it comes to being a leader you know it doesn't matter if you're in a family or if you're in a business it all really equates to the same thing it, it comes down to being that amazing influencer and not a dictator so simple things of uh, just a, a prime example. If you uh, recently, one of the families I work with, they couldn't get their five-year-old to brush his teeth, and it was really important to the mom that she he brushes his teeth, and he hadn't lost um, his teeth yet. So his dad was thinking, well, it's not a big deal because he still has all of his teeth. So like whatever, uh, he'll just lose them, and when the when the adult teeth come in, then we'll really tackle it. But her idea was, well, no, I want him to get that habit now, so that when it does happen, he doesn't have to establish it. So as a leader, it's really important for us to be influencing that. So we have to model it. We can't ask those who we are trying to get them to do something 
to do something that we're not actually willing to do ourselves. So they did, the two of them modeled brushing their teeth morning and night in front of him and just talked about how fresh their breath smells and how good it feels. And, and then he wanted to be just like his dad. So then he naturally picked up the toothbrush himself. So when the desire becomes something that's inside you or inside your child, rather than an external motivation, it's an internal inspiration they're more likely to continue to do it on them on their own. Wow. I, I love what you said there about internal inspiration versus external motivation, because I think parents especially struggle with that quite a lot because they're trying to get the child to do something like eat their food, tidy up, you know, make sure they get dressed on time or brush their teeth. And You know, this child is clearly not, you know, following following those instructions. So what do you do? I mean, there's just like, come on, get on with it. Or there is a better approach where you try to instill that internal inspiration. I absolutely love that. And that's a great strategy. Thank you. Yeah. There, and there, there's tons, there's tons of free videos on my website too, that parents can just find some value there maybe. And um, I just, I invite them to go check out or uh, check it out. JennaBain.com, which I know is in the, in the link below. And, um, but any way that I can support too, like I, I, I'm happy to answer questions or anything like that too. So I'm awesome. here to support. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Now, Jenna, I am one of my previous guests. Um, he, he says something really amazing. Um, and, um, I, 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 I'm wondering if you share the same opinion. And he said that actually children read energy. They understand energy. They're not very good at communication. They're not very good at sorting out through emotions, but they do understand energy and they can read your energy. They can, you know, read what sort of environment, what's going on, the environment and etc. But they might not actually know what, what's happening, but they do understand the energy. What, what do you think? hundred percent. And I would even go back further just uh, in the research studies that I've done is we have indication that they can read energy through the womb. So they're already getting vibrations there. So when they are come out to the world, uh, that's one of the main reasons why it's so important for, for women. Uh, I love to coach pregnant women um, because their, their nutrition is number, needs to be on par, but also their mindset, their, their energy, because their, their baby's actually uh, also eating that. And I would totally, totally agree with, with all that, that he said. And I would even say that we all are that way, not just children. And so when you have a child and the, their caregiver yelling at them and saying, don't you know I love you? They aren't reading the words or listening to the words. They're reading the vibration. So they're, if they know the words, they're thinking, but your words do not line up with your actions. So I'm even more confused <laughs> now. So we have to remember that, that absolutely they, and I mean, that's the same with like our pets too. And even when we go into another country, we might not know their language, but if someone smiles at you, you know that vibration. You can feel that happiness. If you feel a scowl or you feel like you're not in a protected area, you feel that too. Or when you're facing the other way and you can feel someone looking at you. I don't know if you've ever had that experience where you're at a store or something and you're like, oh, and then you turn around and someone is looking at you. And it's, it's that same thing. We read vibration. We are all made up of energy up of these cells and and so absolutely, I totally agree with that. And that's why that, again, the series is just one of my biggest passions because it will definitely transform families and leadership skills in major ways. Oh, wow. No, awesome. I love that. Um, now, Jenna, I'm very conscious of your time. So very quickly, uh, before we wrap up, where can people go to find out more about you and how can they connect with you? Uh, my website's the best place. You'll get all my social media handles there and there's books and, and um, my, my videos and everything. So blogs, all that, all that's there. Just uh, check out that and, and send me a message if you ever need or want to chat with me and ask me a question. I'll do a take it or leave it video on it and uh, help, help better society and all the way around. We're all in this together. I firmly believe in that. Awesome. 
for people in the audience, uh, make sure you go and check out those links below in the description and uh, make sure you do go and check out the book series. You check out the nutrition course and you actually reach out to Jenna and start a conversation. She's absolutely phenomenal. Um, especially if you're a parent, you have no excuse. Seriously, you have no excuse <laughs> not to reach out to Jenna and start the conversation. Um, she added so much value. I mean, the stuff that she talked about, it's just phenomenal. And before we actually started recording, I, I talked to Jenna and I said, you know what? There are times in the interview where sometimes I get goosebumps. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually looking forward to getting some today and I, I did I ended up getting goosebumps and one of the things that she said was super powerful and I and I loved it um, and I actually, I actually got goosebumps for the fact she said anger is not bad it's only bad when you you know oppress it so wow I mean just absolutely amazing but imagine teaching that to your child understanding that yourself embodying it but also sharing that with your children and helping them understand that anger is just an emotion and it's how you express it that really matters so powerful and that was just one golden nugget and there were many 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 of them in this conversation everything you know where she talked about the the interaction and how that requires action and how energy links everything and what people need to focus on is what other people are doing right and the the nutrition the 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 stuff we talked about in terms of child development it's been a phenomenal conversation um and jenna you know what i'd love to actually stay on and talk more and and go down different rabbit holes uh, but unfortunately due to time we have to cut this short um but i'm definitely looking forward to round two me too. Thank you so much. It was such an honor to be here. Thanks, Jada. Uh, guys, make sure you share this conversation with other people who are close to you. Um, maybe they're your friends, your colleagues, your brothers, sisters, cousins, whoever, especially <laughs> if they're parents or, or they're, they're actually, you know, hoping to become a parent, then I think this conversation will really help them. Um, so make sure you share it. Also, guys, subscribe to the channel because it helps us grow and it allows us to actually have more amazing guests like Jenna on the show so we can talk to them and we can actually dig deep and find out more about their lives, their journeys and their expertise. So with that, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. Hustle hard, take care and I'll see you in the next one.